Welcome to License Metric Tool videos. This video will walk you through the most important panels and reports of License Metric Tool. The video is based on application update 9.2.22. Later application updates might introduce modifications to the look and feel of the user interface. The first panel that opens after you log in to License Metric Tool is the dashboard. Its scope differs depending on the role that you are assigned and the computer group to which you have access. The Deployment Health, Software Scan Health, and Capacity Scan Health widgets provide you with an overview of your infrastructure's health. Each widget shows the total number of computers to which you have access. It also presents graphs with the number of computers that are experiencing a particular issue. Each status on the widget is a link to a filtered report with details of the affected computers. Steps that you should undertake to troubleshoot each issue are described in the License Metric Tool documentation. In the top right corner, you can see a checkmark icon that may show a number. It's the to-do list. It provides you with information about items that might require your action, such as failed imports of data, availability of a new version of License Metric Tool, and other. The number of to-do items is shown until the appropriate action is taken by an administrator or a user with required permissions. Let's now view a couple of the most important panels and reports that are available in License Metric Tool. The VM Managers panel is used for defining connections to VM Managers. The connections allow License Metric Tool gather data that is required to calculate utilization of license metrics in virtual environments. They are required mostly for x86 virtualizations. The complete list of virtualizations that require defining connections to VM managers is available in the License Metric Tool documentation. After you add a VM manager connection, each status is pending. After data from virtual machines that are managed by this VM manager is collected and returned to License Metric Tool, the status changes to OK. If any problems occur on the way, a status that indicates the problem is displayed. To learn how to solve the problem, click the link in the Operation Status column. You will be redirected to online documentation with troubleshooting information. The Products and Metrics report provides information about products in the software catalog to which software components that are discovered in your infrastructure can be assigned. The default assignment is based on a number of rules that License Metric Tool uses. However, it might not always be accurate. To increase the accuracy, import part numbers that represent your purchase products. This way, the number of options that are evaluated by License Metric Tool is limited to what you actually own, not the entire IBM catalog. If you do not have part numbers, you can manually mark products to which you are entitled. Defining your entitlements is optional, but it greatly improves your work with License Metric Tool. The Software Classification Report is the place where you can go through your discovered inventory and decide whether the default assignment is correct or requires adjusting. If the assignment is correct, confirm it. This step is optional, but it makes it easier to focus only on newly discovered software in the future. If the default assignment is not correct, reassign the components or, if needed, suppress them or exclude from license calculations. Once you review and adjust the assignment of components to products, you can further assign your products to CloudPack bundles if you purchased any. Information about the bundles and their metric utilization is shown on the FlexPoints and CloudPacks report. The Software Classification report provides the possibility of adding tags to software instances. You can tag a software instance, for example, to indicate a custom status of its bundling, such as needs review or needs confirmation from PIT. To add a tag, select a row, hover over Edit, and click Add Tag. Once you add the tags, you can use them to filter and sort reports. Apart from tagging software instances, you can also tag software components. This type of tagging can be used to manage software lifecycle, for example, to mark which components need upgrading. Tags on component level are added on the Software Components report. The All Metrics report is the final report that you produce in License Metric Tool. It shows products that were discovered in your infrastructure and their license metric utilization. 
If you are interested only in PBU subcapacity products, you can open the filtered view of the report by choosing the PBU subcapacity option from the list on the left. The link to that view is also available in the main menu. The All Metrics report and its filtered views allow for creating the audit snapshot. The snapshot is a set of files that capture your software inventory and license metric utilization for the last 90 days by default. You should store this snapshot in a safe place for at least two years in case of an IBM audit. The All Metrics report also provides the possibility of adding custom fields. Custom fields can contain extra information such as software license expiration date or contact to a fellow software asset manager responsible for the particular software family. To use custom fields, you must first define them on the metric custom fields panel under the management section. Once the fields are defined, select a row on the All Metrics report, hover over Edit and click Set Value. You can then use the values to filter and sort the report. The Hardware Inventory report provides information about the state of big fix clients in your infrastructure. For every computer on which the client is installed, you can view processor details and the number of PVUs assigned to each core. License metric tool users are added on the Users panel. Each user is assigned a role and a computer group. The role defines the scope of functionalities that are available to the user. The computer group limits the number of computers to which the user has access. Information about roles is available on the Roles panel. License metric tool comes with four predefined roles that are tailored for typical groups of users – administrators, auditors, software asset managers, and infrastructure administrators. If none of the roles meets your requirements, you can adjust the existing roles or create new ones from scratch. Computer groups are created on the Computer Groups panel. They are used primarily to narrow down the scope of reports to computers that meet certain criteria. Each user is assigned a group to ensure that he or she has access to data only from the relevant computers. The Audit Trail report provides information about actions that have influence on the information that is displayed on other reports, such as modifications to the software classification, or changes to VM Manager connections. The Software Summary Report provides an overview of software inventory in your environment. Each row represents a set of software instances that are grouped by the selected columns. By default, you can see only the instances that are currently installed and are not suppressed. When you click a link in the Count column, you can view the list of all instances with information about computers on which they were discovered. There are two more things worth mentioning, saving report views and scheduling email notifications. If you frequently customize your reports, for example, show and hide columns or use filters, you can create saved report views to have quick access to your customized reports. To save a report view, hover over Configure and click Save As. Then provide the report name and decide whether it should be private or available to other users. You can also set the report view as a default view for the particular report. This way, every time you access the report from the menu, your custom view is shown. The list of all saved report views is available under Saved Reports. Some of the entries are delivered with License Metric Tool. To move your work with saved reports to a higher level, schedule report notifications. This way, you will receive an email every time data on a report meets specified conditions. To set up email notifications, an administrator must first properly configure the license metric tool server. Once this is done, open a report, hover over Export and click Schedule Export. If the report view is not saved, save it before exporting. Then choose whether you want the report to be sent on a regular basis or when a certain number of rows appears on the report. These were the most important panels and reports that you will find in License Metric Tool. Don't forget to explore the rest of the application. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links below.